Hello, hello, hello. Everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable, because we about to make it do what it do loves. This is Pisces All Placements, it's general and timeless, cross watchers, non-Pisces, you're more than welcome. You do not have to be a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces to get a message here. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, guys, okay? Hold on, babies. <coughs> Oh shit. I was gonna say, um, because it popped out in the pre-shuffle, somebody may be dealing with a cancer that has some type of coven ties. You may or may not know that. Um, for somebody else, there may be some type of family member drama going on, but justice will prevail here. Um it says sibling rivalry, mother, father, bestie, co-worker, family, friend, cousin, grandparents. So you may have because they said keep it out too. You may have um, somebody in your family, a family member here, guys. Uh, I, I, if you got a sibling, especially a sibling, okay? Um, rivalry here, because that's what they keep taking me to, the sibling rivalry. But it could still be a bestie, a co-worker, family, friend, right? But something is, um, something is fit to come to a head. Justice is going to prevail in the connection here. Wrongs are going to be corrected. Justice is going to be served. If there is a court case going on, your court case will prevail here. So if this is spiritual, um, something going on in the spiritual realm between you and a family member, um, I do feel like it's going to work out in your favor here, Pisces. For others, there could be like some type of inheritance going on or something like that. Um, and maybe y'all had to go to probate court or something's being handled in court here. When it comes to someone who has passed over, a mother or a father or a grandparent here, um, you're going to win that court case. Hold on, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sick. I just hit the bowl before I started this read, and it's some good shit, y'all. So it's still in my throat. My bad. <laughs> I told y'all get y'all shit. Um, if you and one of your family members don't have like the best connection y'all may not be like at each other's um neck or whatever but there could be some underlying jealousy or something like that going on that you may or may not know about and um that's coming to an end see spirit says this person's been throwing salt on your name so whoever this family member is this family member has been out here talking shit about you throwing salt on your name and Possibly because you are who you are. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, I don't know what you're out here doing. Everybody's story is different. They said one more row. So I'm going to do one more row to clarify these first three. And then we'll we'll go into it. Just know that it, this has to do with a family situation. Some family member drama. Which also could include a best friend or a co-worker. But I got cousin, a family friend. Oh, it could also be somebody, a friend of the family, okay? Family, friend, grandparents, sibling, rivalry, mother, or father. Clarify family member drama. What is this family member drama, huh? These biggies look down on you. So this is somebody that's talking shit about you and looking down on you. They feel like they better than you. They may not say this shit to your face. They may have never said this shit to, this, to your face. <laughs> they may know better than to say this shit to your face. You know what I'm saying? Pisces, um, but they, this, this is something they will never come say this shit to your face. They don't have the balls, the titties, the balls, the dick, the pen, whatever. They don't have it to come say it to your face. But they've been throwing salt on your name behind your back. And spirit, God says justice will prevail. They they will not get away with this, right? Um, and they could be looking down on you because of your color, your age, your sex, your gender, your sexual preferences, your religion, your social class, or your spirituality. Now, if you the member in the family that was the black sheep, um, you the one with the gifts, you the one, you know what I'm saying? They're jealous of that. 
if you have this, especially if you have a spiritual connection with God, you got gifts, you're using your gifts in some type of way, and people can see you using your gifts or helping others, they're jealous that they didn't have that gift or they didn't get those gifts. They're upset that you have the gifts. Yeah, they, they opt, I'm telling you. Spirit says, be careful. In dangerous company, ops are in the cap. You got some family members, friends, a mother, a father. This is somebody close to you. That's that's an op. They pretending they pretend to fuck with you and they talking shit about you behind your back. But God say you may can't see collective, but God don't miss nothing. And justice will prevail. That's why justice prevails. Yep. These people could even be forging documents, forging your name, putting your signature on shit. If, if you do something in the spiritual community, they could be out here saying that you're a fraud. Throwing salt on your name. Like I said, if this is someone that's passed away, they're trying to take your inheritance. They could be trying to, to, to get shit from you. Signatures, fraud, lease, checks, receipts, contracts. But just know whatever they have done in the dark is going to come to the light and you win. They, they are not going to win. And you may or may not know about whatever's going on. Okay? Somebody, I'm telling you, I keep feeling like somebody could have signed your name on some type of inheritance papers. They forged your name. And the truth is going to come out. I don't know if that could be for one person, that could be for a whole bunch of people. But for that situation. For other situations, they're out here calling you a fraud. They out here talking about you. What if I throw a song on your name? Pisces energy throwing salt on your name. Huh. They out here throwing salt on your name because you're a whole shaman out here in these streets. I told you it had to do with your spirituality. And they could be saying that you a fraud. You got family members, friends <laughs> that are upset because <laughs> you out here in, I told you, you got the gift and they didn't. You got the fucking gift and they didn't. They out here saying you breaking up happy homes, causing chaos. You a home wrecker. You a fraud and a home wrecker. They got strangers out here coming up against you. Yeah, see, whoever this is, yeah, whatever the court case is, that's what I can see spiritual court. They they can be, once again, it's a fraud. They out here telling people you a fraud. Theft, crimes, child support, domestic violence, attack, civil matter. So you have a family member or several family members that's out here saying that you a whole fraud, guys. <laughs> they wish. They're mad. They say you a fraud and you feel like you above the law. That you superior, you got this God complex, right? But this is somebody that's mad that you got the gifts and they don't. Yeah, spirits say karma coming for their ass. Karma, they're going to pay for what they've done to you, okay? And the thing is, if you out here and you are this shaman, you not no fraud. You ain't breaking up shit. All these things that they've said about you, it's coming back on them. Because they were throwing salt. Karma coming. And they going to pay. They even had, like I said, strangers coming up with you. People that don't even know you. But now they in spiritual court. Karma. <laughs> Karma coming. They got to pay for that, babies. And spirit said they will be found guilty. They will be found guilty. Declared guilty. Trial, judge, jury, wrong, justice, crime. They will be found guilty for their crimes. And justice will be served. But some of you guys, it's not just a family member. It's a karmic lover coming against you as well. So you can have family members and a karmic lover. And Spirit said they perjured themselves. Lying under oath. These people were lying on your name. They were lying to these strangers. Trying to cover up the shit because whatever it is you do, I'm telling you, if you read cards like I read cards, like I don't need the cards. I can read you without the cards. I just like the cards because I like the pictures. It, it give you more in depth, um, you know, more in depth story, and it give y'all something to look at. 
and it gave me something to talk about, so I know what to talk about, right? But um, whoever this person is, <clears throat> they have been lying on you, lying under oath, cover a big ass lie. So when they were in spiritual court, they lied. Now, if this is a real court, like they going to, um, like I said, for like probate court or whatever, they lied in court. They're they're, they're being found guilty. This person could have some type of gang affiliations. I do have a Gemini here. But they secret dealings are coming out. Okay? These people tried to block your blessings. They tried to block your blessings. And now they're going to have to pay for coming up against you. Hmm. These people are mad because your dreams are coming true. Dreams do come true. Celebration, wish fulfillment, achievement. These people are mad because you're out here winning. And they not. This is all jealousy. Jealousy. Her cut. Yeah, these people out here making some type of deals. Talking about you weren't legit. They were trying to say you weren't legit. Sorry, y'all. How about the form? Y'all already know this shit low. And I'm going to say it again. If you'd like to donate... To the new uh ring light fun it would be greatly appreciated because this one is pissing me off um which that we finna go we're gonna talk about these people okay so family member drama and a karmic lover that's come against you and they're all finna get karma And that's fucked up because these are people that are close to you that's throwing salt on your name. They're they're upset because they don't have the gifts you have. And not only do they not have the gifts you have, <laughs> they're mad because you're accurate. You're right. But they out here telling people you out here causing chaos and breaking up people's homes and lying and shit on your name. And the truth is now being revealed. Pisces. Uh oh. Cards just fell. Okay. That's why this family drama. Oh, tell you. They mad that you out here in this Empress ass energy and <laughs> you got this Ace of Cups. It says the woman in power. They are mad that you are the woman in power. I told you, you got the gifts. Queen of all queens. Everyone admires you. Fertility and nurturing. Divine feminine energy. You're emotionally awakened in love. You lead with um, gestures of affection. Your feelings are involved when you deal with other people. And they're mad that there's some kind of good news coming your way. You could also have a new love offer coming, guys. Okay, just a side note. Yeah, do say new or old lover approaching. But these people are mad because you're in your power. Everything you touch turn to gold. Man or woman, Pisces, even though it's the Empress, you're just in this receiving energy. And you're receiving all these gifts. And they're jealous because you received the gift and they didn't. I told y'all. You have family members and friends that are close to you or that you used to be close to or um, karmic lovers that are mad that you got these gifts. Yep. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. See, this is, these are people that put in very little effort. They have bad reputations and they're careless. They have lack of ambition and motivation. They rush to get things done or completed. And they bite off more than they could chew. And things don't work out for them. So they're jealous of the fact that things are working out for you. That you're getting these gifts. Whatever they may be. It doesn't have to be um, intuitive gifts. You can be getting gifts. You know material gifts. Whatever it is that God is blessing you with. They're mad. You're not supposed to be doing good. Looking good. Doing better than them. Even if you're not doing better than them financially, emotionally, you're better than them. You're in this ace of cups energy. You're balanced. 
Yeah, your whole high priestess out here. Your intuition is on point. I'm telling you, they're mad that you got these fucking gifts. You a shaman. Your intuition is on point. You, you're a spiritual master of knowledge. You have a higher power source. You're connected to a higher power source. You're walking in your higher self purpose. And you're connected to unknown forces. And they're mad because you're connected to these unknown forces. You feel, you hear, you know what I'm saying? You just know. Because everybody's gifts are different. And a lot of you guys have more than one gift. You're a whole healer. You're a whole shaman out here in these streets. You real. God came out and said, you real. You the shaman. And these people are mad. They don't have the gift. Why you get the gift? Why you so special? Once again, you were the black sheep. So, you know what I'm saying? They always talk shit about you. But they talk shit about you because you always have had the gift. You've, you're the black sheep because you have the gifts. It was already written. These people are mad because you're not burdened. And they are. And even if you have burdens, your burdens are nothing like theirs. Clarify throwing salt on your name. Yeah, so these people are out here throwing salt on your name because you out here setting good habits and morals. You got all these financial offers that are arriving for you. I'm telling you, your money good. You looking good. You have re reconnected with the earth and grounding yourself. You heal. You seek higher learning and knowledge. You started off small, but you kept thinking bigger and whatever it is you've been working on is getting bigger and bigger. You put the work in. You put the work in. These are people that were afraid to put the work in. But you did it. You, 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 you're you still doing it. You, you're the type of person that don't give up. You don't quit. No matter what the fuck is coming toward you, you don't quit. No matter what they throw, you just don't throw in your fucking towel. They can knock you down, but they will not knock you out. And these people don't like that. Yeah, six of swords. You got on your boat and left their asses. People are mad. Your family members and shit are mad because you healed, you walked away, and you got these gifts. You're connected. It says escaping and retreating from a situation. You left them behind. Trust the process of healing, and that's exactly what you did. You took the time, and you did the work, and you've been trusting the process of healing. You got out the way. You overcame your hard times and your hardships, and you let go of being hateful and hateful people. You no longer lower vibrational, and these people they can't they can't stand it, so they talking shit about you. They talking shit about you, you know what I'm saying? But don't they talked about they talked about Yeshua? So you know it don't matter. <laughs> if they ain't talking about you you ain't doing something right now these people are, are stuck in this anxiety and this stress they, they're they staying up day and night worrying full of anxiety and fear having nightmares and night terrors being suspicious of other people's actions at their breaking point because <laughs> karma coming for that ass and you over here living peaceful but you did the work, you healed. You see, they had some type of plan they thought was finna come into action, but it's not. They were making some type of plans and preparations to block you, to stop you, to keep you from moving forward. And then they were waiting to see if it was gonna work. But it's not. Karma coming. Spirit said justice will um prevail in your in your favor here. Yeah, ten of swords in reverse. <laughs> they thought they was finna stop you, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel for you. You recovered from bad situations. The worst has already happened. You rise above the problems, and whatever the situations are, you healed yourself. You did the work. And these people are mad. You weren't supposed to do it. You weren't supposed to do it. You weren't supposed to receive these gifts. You weren't supposed to be happy. You were supposed to stay low vibrational. These people were talking shit like whatever you did when you were low vibrational, um, 
This could have been 20, 30 years ago. Shit people are still talking about. Because I feel like they don't know what you got going on now because you stay for yourself. Even with these family members and shit. Nobody really know what you got going on. You keep your circle small. You keep your business to yourself. So these people really don't know what you got going on. They're looking at who you were in the past before you walked away from them and healed. And they're they're making their suggestions or assumptions by what they think they know from, from your past. They're also jealous of your gifts because you did the work. God been sending you gifts and blessings. And you out here setting good habits and morals. And maybe in the past you, you wasn't on that path. You know what I'm saying? You were low vibrational too. But you got your shit together. You healed. You're no longer toxic. And these people are still toxic. And they, they, can't, they can't see because they're too lazy to do the work. And you're not. And, and you're getting blessed for doing the work. Yeah, because you're a whole star out here in these streets. You're a whole star. You healed, and you're a whole star out here. You had faith that brought hope and inspiration. You renewed yourself. You went through some type of spiritual healing and rejuvenation. Healing from past wounds. You found your higher purpose in life. And these people hate it. Family, friends, ex... Yeah, karmic lovers... Including friends. Two of cups talk about friends. So you got friends. You got family members. And you got these karmic lovers. Exes possibly. That are mad that you are no longer lower vibrational. That you did the work. And you healed. And you moved on. And that you got these gifts. And these gifts are out here helping other people. However, whatever it is that you do. You're in your purpose. And these people are trying to stop or block you. And throw salt on your name. Now they, once again, nine of swords. Now they, they're stuck sitting up day and night worrying, full of anxiety and fear, having nightmares and night terrors, suspicious of everybody around them because they did not heal or do the work. They're still low vibrational. Five of wands. They were in competition with you. They in their ego, a clash of egos and aggressive competition because you out here fighting for a cause or a situation. And they out here fighting battles. They got inner struggles all over the place. They dealing with a bunch of disagreements and conflict. And you you walking in peace, emotionally balanced. Ace of Cups. Empress energy. Just receiving. And, and everything you touch is just like, you know, it's healing and light. Y'all see this light over this over this cup? You see the way this, this, this cup is illuminated? This is all gifts from God. And these people are going to receive their karma for trying to come up against you. And, and it's sad. Because they can easily... Everybody got gifts. We all got gifts. It's just you got to be open to it and open to using them. Learning how to use them. But you got to do the work. Because when you're low vibrational, you're going to put... Even if you do use your gifts, it's going to present in low vibrational things. When you start to heal and raise your vibration, then it brings light. Let's get y'all some zodiac signs. See if y'all can uh, figure out who these family members is. Family, friends, karmic lovers. That's been trying to keep you trapped and stuck talking shit about you. Behind your back, all because you got the gifts and they don't. All because you did the work and they not. The spirit said they was too lazy. They don't want to put the effort in. It's not an easy journey. The spiritual path is not an easy journey. To look at yourself and say, I'm the problem and I got to heal me? That's ego. I got to release that? Let that go? That's not easy. Especially when this world's in that victim mentality. Everybody's a fucking victim. No, you're not a victim. You where you are because of the choices you made. Take accountability. Nobody can do anything to you that you do not allow. Period. There are no victims. There was warning before destruction. You didn't listen. You ignored it. You ignored your intuition. That's your fault. Not the person who hurt you. Because God sent you warning. God always sends warning. You just don't hear it. 
you ignore it. You want to do what you want to do. So just like any child, you get your ass whooped when you don't listen to the, to the directions, when you don't follow the fucking directions. But don't complain and be a victim after you got your ass whooped because of the choice you made. Period. Suck that shit up. Take the lesson that you learned. And don't make that mistake no more. When when your spidey sins go off next time, move. Don't sit around and wait. These other people that, you know, I'm talking to y'all, but these people over here, these family members, fuck them. You ain't got to worry about them. God got them. These people are going to be miserable until they do the work. And then they got nothing to do with you. Spirit said for you to prepare and plan for your future. Keep doing that. Okay, keep discovering new things and making progress. There's new opportunities coming for you. Also, there could be an opportunity with a new partner coming. That could be in work. That could also be in a romantic relationship. Spirit says continue to move forward and wait on your, your next steps, okay? Because they're always guided. You're always going to get some type of intuitive hit on what to do. Spirit also says continue to set goals and ideas, whether they're romantic or... Um, you know, just for other parts of your life here. First sign is Aquarius. Family, friends, talking shit behind your back. Smiling in your face. Virgo. Gemini. Taurus. Air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, and Cancer. Bottom of the deck, Pisces. It looks like this is going to be an everybody read. And on the cut, oh, they gave us two, Water and Earth. So I think water, earth, air, what are we missing? We just missing Leo here. So everybody but Leo. Oh, there go Leo. So yeah, everybody. It's everybody. I felt like it was an everybody read. So also the yeah, signs. The actual signs that are down though are Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Leo. But everybody is here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So if this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. <laughs> Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.